Okay, okay, guys, I have an idea. Oh, is this about the vaccine distribution plan we talked about earlier? No, Germany, it's not. Thank you for bringing it up in front of everyone. Um, I'm sorry, the what you talked about earlier? Oh, it's nothing you need to worry about. The hell it is! Germany, stop acting like you run the EU. Okay. EU, blink twice if you're being controlled by Germany at all. Love everyone except Germany. You guys are paranoid. Oh my God, oh my God. She blinked twice. Guys, this is not a drill, okay? Forget free Britney. We need to free the EU from this conservatorship that's going on right now before our very eyes. No, no, I did not blink twice. Guys, please calm down, okay? I need to tell you my idea. Okay then. I guess we're just gonna ignore what's going on here like we always do. Looking at you, Poland. You're looking at me? What did I do? You know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, Poland. Oh, don't even get me started on you, Hungary. Oh my God, I'm just gonna say it. I wanna start an EU military. I'm sorry, what did I just hear you say? Because it sounded like you said you wanted to start an EU military. Yep, an EU military. A military comprised of military forces from each member state that wants to do it because I, I can't make you. Ooh, ooh, yes, Vatican City. Can I be in charge of designing the uniforms? I actually already have some sketch designs drafted up. Um, you know, they look great, really, they, they do, but I think maybe we could use your talents in a a different way. Vatican City, since clearly no one else has the courage to say what we are all thinking, I will. Those uniforms are hideous. What? How can they be? They're Italian. <clears throat> Italian? Really? <sighs> okay, fine. They're Swiss. Why are you even here? Why are you? Oh my god, who cares about the damn uniforms? Well, given how ugly yours are, Clearly not you. Well, that was hurtful. Can I just ask the obvious question here, which is why do we need an EU military when we have NATO? Well, I wouldn't say we have NATO. Well, now, Sweden, that's really your choice, isn't it? I choose neutrality. In fact, it's part of my national slogan will not intervene since 1814. That's a shit slogan. Yeah, it must be nice to choose neutrality while living in the comfort of being surrounded by NATO countries. Yeah, it's quite nice, actually. So on behalf of my people and my fiscal budget, thank you all for your service and your tax dollars. Anyway, like I said, I want to start an EU military. So your plan is to build up Frontex, right? I mean, it, it only makes sense to build on something that we already have instead of starting scratch. And since the Frontex headquarters is in my capital city, look, Poland, just because you failed to get Fort Trump doesn't mean you get dibs on the EU military headquarters. Everyone knows that all things EU should belong with me. Okay, stop. Why are we talking about where this headquarters would be stationed or what they'd be wearing when we haven't even decided to do this? Can we go back to France's question? Why are we gonna have an EU military when we already have NATO? Yes, exactly. What would this EU military offer that we don't already have with NATO? Well, I'll tell you what the EU military wouldn't have. America. Yeah, speaking of which, EU, I really do not think America is gonna like this. Who cares? We don't need her. Well, hold on now. Let's be realistic here. Without America, that means that all of us are gonna have to increase our military budgets. Oh, yeah, I, uh... I can't do that. Can't or won't because I find it interesting that I was able to hit the 2% threshold, but you can't, you know, for the record, I tried to have one Europe-wide military before 
but you guys didn't agree to it. Well, that's one way to summarize the 1930s and 40s. EU, what even made you come up with this idea? Well, I just think it would be nice to have some autonomy when making military related decisions. I get that, but you guys, she's gonna know and she's gonna be pissed. How is she gonna know? Oh, come on, don't be so naive. She probably already knows and is gonna come over here and tell- What's going on here? See? See? I hear you're starting an EU military? How do you even know that already? We started talking about it, what, five minutes ago? Oh my god, Germany, it's called the NSA. We've gone over this before. Yes, we have, and you were supposed to stop doing that. Don't be such a buzzkill. Um, asking you to stop spying on me is not being a buzzkill. America, we haven't even made a decision, so... Truly, there's no need for you to get upset. Does Canada know about this? No, no. Canada doesn't know anything about it. Yeah, well, she's about to. America, that's really, that's not necessary. I mean, truly, we are just discussing it. It's probably not even going to happen. Wow, way to fold, EU. Oh, like you've never surrendered before. Good one. Such an original joke. I've never heard it before. Got any more up your sleeve? Hey, France. Why do your tanks have rear view mirrors? So they can see the battlefield. <laughs> Hilarious. Hey, Canada, can you, can you hear me? Oh, hey America, how are you? To what do I owe this lovely call? You're not gonna believe what I just found out. The EU is planning on starting its own military. Do you believe this? The betrayal! Oh, right, right! I totally forgot that the member states were meeting to discuss that today. Wait, you already knew about this? Yes, of course! EU invited me to be in it. Invited you? But you're not even a European country, let alone in the EU! Well, I'm not a member now, but of course this is in discussion. What? You never told me this. Well, it didn't involve you. But you're my North American little sister. Yeah, you know, I really would prefer if you stopped calling me that. Hey, I gotta go. We're about to harvest some maple syrup. It's my favorite time of the year. Bye. What in the actual? Oh, hey guys. Oh no. How peculiar to see you all together here. I imagine you're talking about something pretty important. Am I right? Yeah, turkey. You know, actually, we were all just about to leave because we've got things to do, like a, a vaccine distribution plan to continue failing at. Yeah, watching you guys struggle with that has been entertaining for me in the least, but you know, I could have sworn I, I overheard someone talking about an EU military a few moments ago. Mind sharing with me what that's all about? <clears throat> well, it's exactly what it sounds like. A military comprised of military forces from EU members. Oh, how interesting. So then I presume that you're abandoning NATO. No, not abandoning NATO. This would be separate from that. And I think I speak for everyone here when I say that we really value your contributions to the- And every EU member agreed to be a part of this? Well, I'm sure not everyone will. So let me get this straight. You're gonna have some European countries be a member of the EU, which is different from those who are a member of NATO, which is different from those who are a part of the European Schengen Zone, which is different from those who are members of the Council of Europe, which is different from those who are going to be in this EU military? Did I, did I get that right? Yeah, that, that's about right. Well, that's one hell of a Venn diagram. <laughs> No, really, I already drew it, and it is truly terrible. Oh, hey guys, turkey, nice Venn diagram. God, look at us, it's like we got the band back together. Feels good, gotta admit, it feels good. I mean, not good enough for me to want to rejoin the EU, but it's 
really good seeing you guys. What's cracking? Okay, thanks for coming everyone. Wait, why is everyone leaving as soon as I show up? Did, did I do something wrong? Guys? Oh sure, walk away. That's fine. I don't need you. I've got other options. Oh my god, finally. Mm -hmm. 